What's up, sippers? Welcome back to Sip Station. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted for all our videos. I am Stas. I'm here with Selby and Tip, and we're back for another wine review. Today, we are going to try Remy Martin's Cognac Fine Champagne. It is from the region of Cognac in France, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. I don't you know. You got it. I'm, I'm fine. You, <laughs> you know. got it. So, so, it's a little different today, and we're going to get right into it and let you know what we think. Cheers. <laughs> I thought you said this was wine. <laughs> I've been boozled, been boozled. I've been led astray. I've been, I've been had. I did not know. The well, first off, hold up. Let me so wait. hot. <laughs> Going down. I'm so sorry, you guys. When I went to the liquor store, you know. Usually I go in and I browse and I'm trying to find something that we haven't tried before, something new that we can bring to the table. I seen it was like fine champagne. Boom, I was excited for it. Girls, I was all excited. I hit him up in the chat and I'm like, girls, that's what? I got Remy. I got the bottle right here. It does say fine champagne, but then it says cognac, so. I didn't know it was gonna be a yak. <laughs> yeah. for real. I didn't know that and it's, liquor it is liquor so um when i did a little bit more research i saw that champagne well the cognac actually is although it's from a region in france is like protected by law and everything it's liquor more so and it's made from grapes so it's similar to the wine making process and then um at least half of their grapes come from the champagne region in france that we previously spoke about so that's why they're able to call it cognac champagne and it's 40 percent alcohol <laughs> so <laughs> it's so strong when i got like, home and i seen the 40 percent that's when i started getting a little nervous and i'm like but i'm like it says champagne so i thought it was still cool i thought that maybe like everything was all right until <laughs> now well welcome to our liquor review <laughs> kind of switch it up for you guys, you know, we got a higher price point, we got a totally different taste. My bad, y'all. Um, but, you know, hey, I feel like, you know, we over here fine whining. <laughs> or cold knacking. Cold knacking. <laughs> fine wine, cognac, champagne. We just, I mean, well, let's get into the everything. taste, though. I mean, let's get into the taste, and now that we're here. Yes. Let's get yes. into the taste, though. I mean, well. what is that something that you're tasting with this? I mean, you don't usually sip to taste uh uh well um definitely licorice hints of vanilla licorice. i do get the vanilla taste in there but i think it's too overpowering the, the alcohol me. part girl <laughs> it is this this would be the slowest sipper ever yeah because you cannot gulp this. You will mm -mm. die. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that you would probably have on the rocks. You can mix something with this. This is probably like a good cocktail drink. It um, probably would be real good with some Coke. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coca-Cola. We got to do the disclaim because last time. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> It's all right. It led me astray. I was like, the bottle is so elite. It was so nice. I felt. And I it felt was, like I was how much? Sixty dollars? It was forty nine. Okay. It was forty nine, which is still pretty yeah. high. Yeah. For us. <laughs> so if you out and you're at the bar, you are trying to flex. Yeah, you want to show off a little. And get crunk at the same time. <laughs> that would be it. This is your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you a lightweight like me, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just stay away. So, as we're getting our fine champagne cognac cocktail going, we thought it'd be 
a good segue into something a little bit juicy and talking about <laughs> there you go again talking about dating apps and what we may be attracted to on dating apps what we've seen and just kind of like showing things that we see online and if they would get like a swipe right or a yes or a no from us so that'd be a cool idea to do this today this here um of course we're not showing any personal details for privacy but this is a portfolio manager um the heights there the education's there religion ethnicity and family plans so they happen to put here that they want kids so one thing I noticed right off the bat is that there's no description of this person. They didn't put anything funny, witty, anything about them other than what they do and very, very, like the bare minimum, like what was requested to actually post yeah, your profile. You didn't even try. No. And that's, what, <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing is that this person didn't even try. So that means that you're not going to try with me. Correct. So I would say no. Correct. And I would say no too, only because my thing is this, I don't want to have to pull conversation from you. So therefore I'm trying to, mind you, I'm trying to go off my guesstimate, just judging by this right here, I'm trying to formulate in my head, like an idea of you. I want you to pick that picture from me. I don't want to have to do a guess. So now if I'm guessing, that means I'm going to have to pull conversation from you. And I don't right. like that. Like, let's, right not do that you i need you to hold a conversation because honestly don't. Just, <laughs> off of, just off of the bare minimum that you put i don't even know what to message you mm -hmm. because <laughs> you literally told me nothing but your age yep. and your height yeah. and if you want some kids next next this guy here so he filled out some things what's one thing you love about yourself he says a smile most important traits in a partner kindness emotional and love a book everyone should read the bible hmm. Puts it's education there religion ethnicity all that kind of stuff now family plan sticks out to me he's undecided but he has kids hmm. uh, interesting so he has kids but doesn't know if he wants to have more. more okay so he must have maybe a few or maybe the one and done he could be, <laughs> <laughs> he could be either one. right <laughs> All right, so Stas, what would you say about this guy? You're giving me mixed signals with this most important thing with the kindness, emotional, and love. However, you're undecided with the family. The family's kind of tied into the kindness for me and love. So it's like, what are you undecided about? I would say the one thing that stands out to me is I am a sucker for a good smile. And he mm. did put that thing that he loves about himself is his smile. So if he didn't have a picture, that would kind of intrigue me as to what smile do you yeah. have? For me, he would be um, a no. Um, he put, he's undecided about kids and I don't want to, someone to meet me and, and figure that out later. I want right. to go into it Absolutely knowing no I mm -hmm. do want kids, so. Absolutely. That, that's a big thing for me. And then he kind of confused me on the bread Bible and the Catholic. But that might like, be a conversation starter. Like, hey, what is the bread Bible? Versus the other guy who didn't yeah, have any. Well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he had yeah. way more than the other one. <laughs> Maybe I'm undecided about Mr. Undecided. Correct. <laughs> Mr. Undecided. All right, moving on. This next guy here, what stands out to me, startup founder entrepreneur yeah I'm, I'm not sure about that <laughs> um what? why ain't no the startup <laughs> appreciate when my date oh likes to laugh at me herself can teach me something appreciates unique things in life hmm. i like that okay he brought me back <laughs> after his startup yeah <laughs> we're gone after 
of stardom. <laughs> right. But I'm back because I know a lot of random useless facts. I'm a little nerdy. Well, I would say he's his, a yes. I'm loving his educations of masters yeah. at Johns Hopkins. Oh wow! That is yeah. great. Yes, yeah, John Hopkins. So I don't know where he's starting up, but he's he's pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he's starting up. Like, yeah. I like the part nerd. Mm -hmm. I like the part nerd. I just like the fact that you like to laugh at yourself because I'm a goof. You know, every other sentence is something funny for me. We know. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you cannot be so totally serious around me at all. Right. You cannot. So right. that's no. a big thing. I need somebody to loosen up. Okay, next guy. So, he just says banking. Okay, that's fine. I am NYC by way of Seattle. Hmm, into traveling. <laughs> Early morning runs in Central Park. Good oh. books. Netflix. Watching oh. sports. Okay. He likes traveling, reading, running. I appreciate my day. Someone smart, driven, kind, and with a sense of adventure. Oh, he took the, his time to fill out some stuff. So, I can appreciate that. The travel just shoots out to me. I appreciate a good traveler. If you have a passport, that's a plus for me. I would say though, it comes off a little cliche with the oh early morning runs. I was Central waiting for you to give me my <laughs> turn. To speak. I was oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just sitting here like I can't wait till it's my turn. <laughs> I mean, so far we're like oh no, so nice. Maybe he really likes more than jobs. That's it. But hard. like she said, it, I get it. I too, I get it. I get it. But you are like the perfect person. You're well rounded. You're educated. You um, you have a good knowledge of things. You're traveling. You've seen some things. But it's just like, why are you mm -hmm. single? Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't found. I mean, like, who knows? Who knows? I mean, whoever you ran into might be, mm -hmm. you know, toads. I don't know. Right, he didn't but it's just his person. But sometimes it is just as simple as um, you're you're single because, like Tip said, you just haven't met the right person. Very things true. haven't worked out. I, mean, I know about that. So th things just don't work out. They just don't match. They just don't. You, you haven't met your match. The area that you're in is just not people here that really spike your interest and get you going. Last one. So he says he's silly but serious, not afraid to try new things. Hmm. Brunch with friends, going on the weekends, exercise and travel, okay. He appreciates, calls me before going to bed, gets along with all my friends, likes going to rooftops and Y bars. Hmm. Hey. All things I like, all things I like. Um, he would be a yes for me, but I would throw caution to the always brunching and going out. Um, friends. at the rooftop, right. you gotta yeah. like your friends, right. like, am I dating your friends? Right. Yeah, that's the caution for me, like, I have yeah. to like all your friends first off. <laughs> <laughs> How many friends we talking about? That, so. and you might not clap, you might not mess some, with all of them. Some people just, you just mm -hmm. don't get along with, and I'm not a fake person, so it's like, if I don't vibe with you, you're gonna know that, I can't yep. hide it, so, yep. because me and your homie, don't really or we're not best buddies or or is that like a deal breaker for you right because right. if that is then you need to grow up right <laughs> for real that yes you gotta like my friends that's yeah. a great first point. off i can tell you right now you're not gonna like my friends hey you gotta not pass a lot of you tests gotta learn to get love me. you learn to love us though that's right <laughs> you know. we are very lovable mm -hmm. we just are I'm very I'm protective I'm also uh -huh. so <laughs> yeah i do love these ladies so much so, mm. I'll always swipe right on that. Or left, is it left? I don't know. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little notification button so that you can get all of the events when we post on Saturday. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. See ya.